Do you ever do a reading for yourself and just like, do you see this? Like, this is amazing. I am like so in love <laughs> with this reading for myself. Like, of course, I'm going to pull this card for myself. But what witch is not going to pull the magician card every time she talks about herself or asks about herself? Yeah, it's all in my hands. <laughs> this is a Celtic cross, Celtic cross reading. And basically what I get from it is I, I know what I want. However, I am slightly overwhelmed. I'm not fully seeing my blessings right in front of me or just seeing all that I have. Um, the magician tells me I am in charge of my romantic life completely. Um, I'm the one that directs it. The queen of wands, my desire, what drives me is wanting to be worshipped. I am on top of the world. I am ready. And this is like, ultimately, like I said, the driving desire. Random little like sidebar. I have like the feeling this card gives me when I look at it and I'm thinking about my question. It's just a feeling of complete like bliss and just knowledge that I am as I should be. If that makes any sense. But yeah, the star tells me that I've been pouring a lot into my past relationships, like a lot of compassion, love, understanding, empathy. And I don't think that's a bad thing necessarily, nor a great thing necessarily. It's just something for me to keep in mind going forward. I love my reading and I'll let you in on a secret. I'm pretty new to tarot reading. I've only been reading kind of sort of for like two years. It wasn't until I read an article by T. Susan Chang on Lewin, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, that I just sort of allowed myself to be great. And um, I will link the article below if you are interested in reading it, which I highly recommend. If you watched this far, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you will.